Hi everyone, welcome to Cashwalks. We're at Lake Pupuke on Auckland's North Shore and there are some really nice geocaches around the lake edge. Come and have a look with us. It's a beautiful serene view here today, but it does not always look like this. Here you can see the outline of an ancient crater. 140,000 years ago it was an active volcano spewing lava down the banks of a forested river valley. After the ice age, the sea rose, creating the Waitemata Harbour and the crater filled with rainwater. Around the lake shore, there are many geocaches and parks and along the walkway. It's a great day's geocaching here. Now to find our first geocache for the day called Molly's View. We sat with Molly to sign the log. Here we met Tal, who was on a surfing travel holiday from Israel. He was busily polishing a power shell. He had got the power from a diver in the south of the South Island, where the biggest shells are found. Power of good eating, but expensive to buy. It's best to get your own if you can. Then we stopped to admire the swans. Some coots joined them. Lake Bipuke is the home of water sports like canoeing and rowing. Here students from Manurewa College are out training on the lake. We drove around to the other side of the lake for more geocaches and an earth cache. There was once a quarry here and we answered some good questions to claim the find. At the published coordinates look to the southwest. You will be looking down a lagoon called Quarry Lake. To the right hand side of the lagoon you will see a bluff made of tough layers. How many distinct layers do you see? Then a photo for the log. A lot was happening here too. Swans with their signets were feeding. Radio controlled model yachts were racing. Then it was on to find a traditional in another part of the lake edge. Here the cash container was clearly missing, so we added a replacement. Then we went looking to see if any of the fruit salad fruit were ripe. No luck today, but we'll keep an eye on them. Our last cache was at the old pump house. Built in 1905, its enormous pump shifted water from the lake to the early settlers of Devonport. It 
The cash was up behind the parked cars. We had visited before and braced ourselves for a long search, but this time we found it almost immediately and signed the log. Found it. Third time we've been here. Finally got it. The pump house is a good place to stop to have a cup of tea or coffee. Here there were more coots about with their babies. We decided to treat ourselves and had lunch nearby at the Takapuna Beach Cafe built on Pupoke's lava flow. I had a charred portobello mushroom, chilli oil, butter bean and spring vegetables. And Rick had a lime court trevally, chickpea carrot and almond duca. Then it was an ice cream for dessert. Yum! I got a soda caramel one and Rick's got vanilla. Nice. Walk along the beach and have it. <laughs> The boat ramp next to the restaurant is the start of another great geo trail with fossils in the lava flow. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.